This movie will demonstrate use of the row operations tool and it will relate that to the video on solving systems of equations by doing row operations. <clears throat> I've already entered here in the row operations tool the, aug the augmented matrix for a system of equations. The system is 2x plus 3y plus 5c is 2 3x plus 2y plus 3z is 4 and finally 2x plus 8y plus z is 2. Whenever you enter a matrix into whenever you enter anything into the row operations tool be aware you've got the save this option which can allow you to save the matrix in case you want to go back reconstruct it and uh, work on it uh, a bit later. The revert to saved will always change what the display is back to whatever you have most recently saved. So starting with this augmented matrix, let's chase through the row operations one by one that would be done to solve the system of equations. The first thing we would want to do would be to put a two, uh, change this 2 into a 1. And we would do that, let me zero out the row operations that are shown here that are leftovers from something I was doing a moment ago. I will want to do one half times row one. Notice I'm working in fraction mode. I want to be in fraction mode to, for purposes of showing you this. It really wouldn't matter, but, but I think the numbers will be cleaner right here since we're working with fairly simple numbers if we stay in fraction mode. So I'm going to do one half times row one. I click the button that says do it and that multiplies the first row times a half. To get a zero in this spot, I'll need to change row two. I'll need to do row two minus three times row one, right? You're supposed to know that by now. So I'll be doing row two minus three, well, that's plus, plus a minus three, that will be, times row one. Let's do it. And I've now put the zero in that spot. The row operation that will put a zero here would be row three minus two times row one. Row three minus two times row one. Do it. And I'm now finished with the first column. We move on to the second column and I want a one in this spot. So I'll multiply row two times minus two fifths minus two-fifths times row two. Let's clear out this junk and then do it. And I now have my one in column two where it needs to be. To make a zero where the three halves is, I need to do what? I need to do row one minus three halves row two. Row one plus minus three halves times row two. We'll do that. Oops, what did I do wrong? I typed wrong. A row one minus three halves times row two puts my zero in this spot. I need the five to be a zero, so I need to do row three minus five times row two. Row three plus minus five times row two. Do that and I'm now finished with the second column. I move on to the third column. The minus 13 needs to be a 1. I make it a 1 by multiplying row 3 times what? I guess I need to multiply by minus 1 over 13, right? Do that, and we have a 1 in this position, and I need to zero out these two spots to be done. The minus one-fifth can be made, be made into a zero if I do row one plus one-fifth row three. Row one plus one-fifth row three. And the nine-fifths here can be made into a zero if I do row two minus nine-fifths times row three. 
and I'm now finished. I have completely reduced the augmented matrix and my solution to the system of equations would be what? X is 102 over 65, Y is minus 8 over 65, and Z is minus 2 thirteenths. So in this instance, we've gone through the row, op the row operations in excruciating detail, doing every one of them, identifying them and doing them. I want to back up, so I'm going back to the augmented matrix that we started out with by clicking on revert to saved and show you some other things built into the row operation tool. What does this button pivot on selection do for you? I'm going to click in the first row first column spot and say pivot on selection. When I click this button watch what happens. What happens is that selection is turned into one and the other entries in that column are turned into zeros. So it's really doing uh, three row operations at a time for me, isn't it? It's picking the row operations and doing them, which turn that row one, column one entry into one and the other two column one entries into zero. Let's fix column two. In column two, we want the one to be in the second row, zeros in the other two spots. So I'll click on the row two, column two spot and say pivot on selection and it will do the second column for me. And I come along to the third column and pick the third row spot in column three and say pivot on selection and it does the third column for me. So I wind up where I did a moment ago, the same solution to the system uh, done using some shortcuts by combining row operations into larger steps that the row operations tool takes for me. Same solution to the system. Now finally, let's go back and do it all at once. I'm going to go back once more by clicking on revert to saved and I'm back where we started with the original augmented system. I can do the whole row operation process all in one step by just clicking this button that says reduce completely. When I do that, it carries out the whole process to change all of the columns into what I need them to be in order to see the solution to the system. So you can look at this reduce completely button as a one button method of solving a system of equations. You just type your system of equations into the row operations tool, click on reduce completely, and it will in one instant solve your system of equations.